Shapes are an important component of an infographic. They can be used to highlight something such as a star shape or a word bubble that can have specific information in it. Or it can be something as simple as a rectangle that you're just going to use for your title. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate here. To get to your shape, you can either use the Shapes tool from the icon or Insert Shape. Whichever you choose, they're the exact same settings. I'm just going to choose a simple rectangle and I'll come up here. Let me zoom in just the tiniest bit. Since I've got my page marked, I'm just going to choose this and drag my shape in here. Now I can use the bucket icon to change my fill color. I can use the pencil tool to change my border color. The border weight will choose how large or small my border is going to be. And the border dash icon will allow me to change it from a solid to a dash if that's what you want. So that's how you're going to modify your header shape. In addition, once you select it, you'll notice that you have formatting options. Those are normally showing right over here. If they don't, click the three dots for more. And here you see format options. In format options, I can make it a very specific size. I can choose its position. I can choose to have indentations or margins, for lack of a better word. But really, the two that I would suggest that you pay attention to the most are shadows and reflection. And that's just so that it adds a little bit of depth and interest to your graphic. When you've selected Drop Shadow, if you click the drop down arrow, you do have the opportunity to make the shadow bigger, smaller, more blurred, whatever works best for you. You can even color the shadow to be a different color. That was the rectangle, but you can use any shape that's available to you, such as arrows, callouts, and equations. The other type of shape that you might use is the line tool. The line will allow you to create your own shapes. And there's different sorts of lines that you can use. I normally will just use the regular line tool and create my own. For instance, if I'd like a bracket, I might straight line, copy it, and paste it, and then There you go. So now we have this shape. That's how you can use shapes to add some interest in your infographic.